Hello and welcome to today's episode. Today I'm going to review another sunscreen for you and it is the little sister of the invisible sunscreen from Transparent Lab that I reviewed the last time. I'm really excited to try this one out because I have high hopes because the ingredient list looks really good. But let's just jump right into it. So this sunscreen is also an SPF 50 plus, PA plus, 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 plus. It kind of has the same protection level like the other one. It also has a protection against IR and HEVL, which means blue light. But for those of you who don't know what HEVL means and also IR, let me explain it to you. HEVL stands for high energy visible light. This is the type of light emitted by digital screens like smartphones, laptops, TV, and also indoor lighting. While not as intense as UV radiation, prolonged exposure can contribute to skin damage over time. IR stands for infrared radiation and is a type of energy that we can see, but is usually perceived as heat, including sun, fire, heating devices, saunas, also while cooking. What's important to know is that IR can go quite deep into the skin layer and over time this kind of radiation might lead to a loss of collagen and elastin. These are essential for keeping our skin firm and youthful. And also PPD stands for persistent pigment darkening. And it's also a way to measure the level of protection against UVA rays. All right, I checked the ingredient list and I have to say this sunscreen really only uses modern filters like the other one as well. What kind of filters are we using here? I will highlight for you the UV filter I found. So we do have Juvenile A+. Good. We also have a UV filter, Octyl Salicylate. I'm not sure if I pronounce it correctly, but you can correct me otherwise. We also have another UV filter, which is commonly referred as Juvenal T150, which is a chemical filter against UVB rays. We do have another UV filter, which is commonly known as Tinosorb or Tinosorb S. Okay, let's talk about the volume. We also get like the little sister, the invisible sunscreen, 100 ml for 19.95. I like that. Let's talk about the claims of this one. It says water and sweat resistant as an anti-pollution filter. It's fragrance free. I like very, very good. It's also alcohol free. This is supposed to be suitable for every skin type from oily to sensitive to dry skin. It's supposed to be invisible, transparent, ultralight. We have antioxidants in here. So I checked the ingredient list a little bit more further and there were some ingredients here which I really feel like are worth to be highlighted. For example, ceramides. You may have seen my other video and I already mentioned I love love, absolutely adore ceramides. They're so good for the skin barrier. And we do have a fair amount of ceramides in this product, which is great, great, great. So they really have a very soothing kind of effect for the skin, which is good because soothing, hydrating, plumping, moisture, AKA slow aging process. We also have hyaluronic acid in this product great humectant. We have Alantoin. Alantoin? Alantoin? I have no, no clue, but in German it's called Alantoin. And this is known for its really soothing and calming properties. We also have Actuin, potential anti-aging, beta-glucan in this one, also very good. You see, we really have nice ingredients in this one. We also have vitamin E in this one. Vitamin E is an antioxidant, so it helps to protect the skin from free radicals. We do have peptides. You know, peptides have various skin benefits, including potential anti-aging, and it also improves just the texture of the skin. I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. It says it's gossipium herbaceum cotton callus culture. So I made my research, so this extract might have some really soothing kind of effects for the skin. And we do have Sisters Monsipiliensis flower leaf stem extract make my research as well for this one. And this extract could have antioxidant and potential anti-inflammatory properties. This is really, this is really good. For the application process, let's talk about my skin type a little bit more. I'm an extremely sensitive, very, very reactive skin type. So my skin really tends to pop up some red spots when I'm triggered or when it's irritated. I also do struggle with acne prone, neurodermatitis, eczema, I, I have it all. And this makes it really scary sometimes for me to try out new products, but I'm still always on a hunt for good new products to strengthen my barrier, to protect my barrier, to really keep up the game with my skin. Let's go into application mode. The packaging says that you should apply two to three pumps of the product as the last step of the routine. That's what we're gonna do. Quick shot of the face, how it looks. Don't have a lot of redness today. I feel very good, very plump and very healthy. So far, so good. Let's try it. I love the packaging. 
I already love the packaging from the other product, from the invisible one. It's basically the same. It just says lightweight sunscreen and the other one says invisible sunscreen. So. Hello? Oh. If you're scared with uneven application, I would highly suggest you to just do two layers of sunscreen, like the first layer to let it dry a little bit and then put on another layer on top. I can smell something. I can smell something, but what is the smell? This is fragrance free, obviously. It cannot smell like, I don't know, any any kind of real scent, but I can, I can, oh. I can smell something, but Mm, I think it were just ingredients. I like to put some a little bit more of product where I have my hyperpigmentation now to the most sensitive area, my eyelids. Ooh. No burning sensation on my face. My face feel, my face feels good, but I have but I do have some burning here around my eyes. Oh yes, burning sensation around my eyes. Oh, okay. This is not a sunscreen for my face. Can you see this? I feel like my skin is not loving it. All right, I'm back. Reality check right here. I had to run to the bathroom, take off the sunscreen and apply my SOS emergency type of skincare because the burning sensation got really, 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 really unbearable for me. And I'm so sad because the ingredient list of this one seems to be so good. And I'm, I'm, I'm just so sorry. I'm so sorry. And I'm really, really sad that this product isn't for me. But if you struggle with allergies and struggle with neurodermatitis or, or if you have any kind of redness related type of skin conditions, I cannot recommend this one, at least for me. But if you want to try it out, I would highly suggest you to make a patch test on your skin because I just put this right away on my skin and it burned like crazy and I'm so sad. I'm going to use this one for my hands and my body because it does contain a lot of product and I don't want to waste it and my body is way more resilient than my face but I'm definitely going to make a patch test another one but I have to give an honest scoring and this one is a zero for me. To be honest I really thought this was going to be better for me than the invisible sunscreen because this one has way more soothing type of ingredients inside. Mm -hmm. 